Well, here we are. Out here on the farm today. Uh, I haven't ever made any long videos. I uh, made a few shorts. Uh, my oldest son, he does some YouTube videos on farming. And he said, Dad, you ought to... You ought to make a video. He said, people might think you're funny. I said, I don't think so. But anyway, I figured I'd give you a tour and uh, let you know what we got going on on the farm. We're up here in Central Virginia uh, cropping. Uh, we crop about 18, 1900 acres of corn and soybeans. Uh, rotation back and forth. Uh, we just picked up a new sprayer. You can see it in the background. Uh, 2023. Apache uh, AS850. Uh, we picked it up. We didn't really, we didn't really plan on buying a sprayer. We had, we had a uh, a 1025 Apache, and the uh, the season while I was spraying, the frame broke on me. Uh, I could probably do that in another video, show you some shots of what happened. And uh, apparently, it was apparently some Apaches had broken frames and have had that problem, but ours some unique deal it broke in a different spot and, and uh we didn't we just couldn't do without a sprayer uh we spray our own crops uh fertilize our own we have a vector we have our own uh fertilizer mixing plant um we haul all our own grain so we pretty much you know got to do it all and when the sprayer broke we had to have one so uh like i said my name's adam shepherd uh we farm here in uh central virginia it's been very, very dry this year. Uh, drier than most years. Uh, probably as dry as, you know, been in a very, very long time. So uh, we just, our beans look pretty good this year. Corn is, you know, hit or miss. We got some corn that's not gonna do the greatest. Uh, you know, this is our, where I'm at now is our main farm. Uh, we got, it's just where our shop is and we got lots of grain bins uh, all around and there's a shop right there uh i don't know we do a lot of farming maybe i can do some videos when we harvest and when we spray and and uh i also sell seed uh i sell revere seed we got corn soybeans wheat um I'm a dealer uh, for my herring. Uh, we also carry all kinds of small seed, any kind of forage seed, cover crop, uh, anything like that. Alfalfas, orchard grass, fescue, you name it, we got it. Uh, radishes, triticale, I mean the whole nine yards, we got a whole range. See, here's one of our grain trucks here. That's my uncle's, and I know what a lot of y'all think. Oh, they got a Volvo. Uh, I wasn't a, we didn't really want a Volvo, but hey, it's been an extremely tough truck, and it gets the grain hauled. Like I said, we're we're in Central Virginia, not far off Route 29. Uh, we haul grain over the mountain to uh, Harrisonburg, is where most of our grain goes. Harrisonburg, Virginia. It's a lot of feed mills in Harrisonburg. A lot of chickens are getting fed with it. Uh, so we have a pretty good market. We're probably 50 miles, 50 miles, 50 to 60 miles across the mountain to Harrisonburg. So it's pretty close, works out good um, for everything. And uh, like I said, these are the newest, the two newest bins we got. Uh, there are 27,000 bushels a piece. Um, we need more storage, but just like everything else, the prices of everything is so high. Oh, that Volvo was one of our grain trucks. This is our other, one of the other ones. Uh, this is the one I typically drive. Uh, Maximizer half round trailer, uh, T600 Kenworth, uh, N14 and that. So that's, you know, pretty decent truck. We've had this one for quite a while too. It's been real good. We also have another T600 with a T600 with a almost matching. That one's gray. That one's also got an N14 in it. 
we use that one. We don't, we was hauling grain for a long time with it. We had another guy working for us hauling with it. But uh, that one pretty much, we got a sled pulling truck too, which I could do some videos on that. But we use that because it's got a big sleeper in it. We use that to go to the truck pulls, have an enclosed trailer. Uh, so if y'all got any questions about that, I can answer those. We can do a video on the pulling truck another time. Um, we also got a pretty sweet road tractor. It was the very first one we ever bought, uh, which has been quite a while. That's a Kenworth K100. We use that for spraying. Uh, got a stainless, real old stainless uh, tanker trailer that used to be a military tanker we found pretty cheap and it works great for hauling water and liquid nitrogen to the sprayer uh, so in here i said i sold seed this is our new seed building just got that finished up this year it's got plenty of room i think the, the storage area in here i think is about uh i think 40 by 40. the whole building's 40 by 60 but we got uh we got tanks on the other side here for liquid and uh we we pump water for the sprayer at the well we got a float in the tank for that if i can get into the building i'll show you what i got in here so here's our seed building on the inside we got a little Nissan forklift, some pallet racks. I got some some floor stock. Got some uh, different mixes and fescue and orchard grass in the stock. We got some of our totes from chemicals. Keep our notes over here on the board. Tell me what I got in stock and what I don't. We got our own pallet wrapper. Wrap the pallets before we deliver them. So yeah, this works out pretty good. It's a pretty good uh, setup. It works, we've had it one season so far. Works great when they bring a load of seed in the track and trailer. And I just shove it in here and uh, keep rolling on. Works real good. So uh, like I said, we plant 100% revere seed, beans and corn and uh, that's kind of odd for us. We've done it for the last few years. We used to plant everything. We used to plant decab. We planted Pioneer, Asgro beans. Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, he had a lot of Hoobner one time. Um, trying to think. We've tried NK. We've tried a little bit of everything. And actually, I sell NK also, but uh, that's another side note, mainly for silage and different things. Uh, they have some, some grain corn. It's pretty good. Uh, but we tried everything and, um, it, you know, we tried to revere and we put it all over different farms. We scattered out probably 30 miles from one farm to the other across two counties. And, uh, we got fields scattered everywhere. And so we tried, we tried, uh, putting revere side by side with everything. At that time it was local seed company, but it's since changed names to revere. But at that time we put side by side and i'd say nine times out of ten we had a couple spots that the other seed beat it but i was like if i'm selling it if i'm selling revere why not plant 100 percent when it's when it's performing so we went ahead and went 100 percent and that's why we've been that way um like i said we've grown all kinds seeds always changing and we try to stay on top of what's the best and anyway that was a seed build on the inside on the outside here we have tanks and we also have uh you can see here you can hook tanks are all hooked up there's uh let me see if i can let me get to the light right here get to the light right here and we'll maybe see something in here um you can see we got three six thousand gallon tanks in here for liquid nitrogen and water and we also have smaller tanks for pop-up pop-up mixes and different things uh we have 
corn pop up and bean pop up. We run pop up mixes through our corn planter and our bean planter. Um, you know, just trying to get the best year we can with what we got to work with. This year it didn't cooperate. We can't control the rain. But like we always say, if we could control that, we'd screw that up too. So, oh, I'm glad we don't control the rain. We don't have any irrigation, so we can't irrigate anything. Um, I got a van trailer, box trailer I used to haul seed in. And uh, also have a stainless fertilizer elevator to help fill our fertilizer shed. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, here's the truck everybody loves. Kenworth K100. Um, it's a pretty cool old truck. We use it to spray. Like I said, we have a stainless tank, painted white, military deal. Um, we have our own dry fertilizer tender, a four bay tender truck. Here's our vector. Um, we dry spread everything with the vector. We got a set of floaters for that. Floaters and narrow tires you go over all the crops. That thing works slick, boy. She's a, she works good. Uh, my uncle runs that all the time. He's pretty good with that, getting all the crops fertilized. Like I said, we have our own mixer, own fertilizer blender, conveyor, fill the tender truck right there, or fill the vector. Uh, got a swinger loader and uh, here's our commodity shed I guess you could call it keep your fertilizer in so this actually used to be a horse farm my grandfather had thoroughbred racehorses raced to Charlestown West Virginia a lot when I was a kid I went with him and anyway we got rid of the horses so converted the shed into something we could use so yeah, um, it's kind of a little tour of what we got going on here. This is just a, this is just around basically our home base, main farm, whatever you want to call it, uh, where we do, where the shop is, and where we got the grain tanks, and and we got a uh, grain bin scattered all over the place that we rent from other people. So, like I said, if you see anything you're interested in, got any questions, I'd appreciate it if you'd uh, like my videos and share them. This is the first time I've ever done anything like this. So, if you guys like it, let me know. If you don't like it, let me know. Hey, ain't gonna hurt my feelings, huh? Also, we got a, I didn't tell you this, not that it's much to it, but since we're looking at stuff, I might as well look at it. Got a flatbed I use the whole seed on. We use around the farm. Yep, 2008 F450 64 diesel. She runs pretty good. It's had some work done to it, and heads pulled off of it, and head gaskets and studded and deleted and all that good stuff. So it runs. Yep, does what we need to do. So, but we don't have up here none of the tractors are up here um, i got a couple tractors up here but none of our i tie line i see the other tractor over here we got a 7530 john deere over here that we plant corn with and uh, actually my 16 year old son does most of the corn planting my father does planting all the beans i do all the spraying uh, and like i said my uncle does the fertilizer so we try to try to get all that done um we also got a 6403 which you know just uh we all we really do with this is run the elevator run the auger grain auger to fill and empty the grain bins up here the ones that need an auger to empty some of them have uh uprights but anyway there's a brent Brant, I mean, not Brent. They make grain carts. Um, anyway, here's the 7530. We pull the uh, corn planter with that. Uh, we got 1770 NT corn planter. And 
pull the corn planter with it and you got the bush all hooked to it now clean up we used to have oh you see maybe you've seen in the background some old oil trucks some old fuel delivery trucks we used to have a fuel delivery business when i was a kid still got the truck sitting around it's like every other farm junk sitting around everywhere so oh like i said this is kind of just a small tour next time i'm around the uh other equipment like the planters and different things maybe i'll shoot a video on them we got a great big old Massey Ferguson loader. That thing's a beast. You know, got that Detroit in it. Screaming Detroit. Oh, yeah. Yep. May do a cold start on that thing one day. That thing, you know, it makes a lot of noise. I know that. Getting the job done, I guess. You know. But anyway, it's a pretty cool old loader. Yes, it runs. We don't do a lot with it, but it does run. Loaded some lime with it, you know. So I uh, saw the Volvo from a distance. Like I said, I'm a maybe. Maybe some of y'all might crack jokes, you know. Got a Volvo, but I have to say, old Volvo's tough because it's made a lot of trips back and forth over the mountain, all in grain. But so here we are, back around to the sprayer, our newest piece of equipment. I'm gonna tell you what, hands down, Apache has done a fine job upgrading the sprayer. The boom system is phenomenal. Uh, we had a we had a AS1010, and then we had a 1025, both for thousand gallon uh, sprayers. We bought this as a 850, uh, it's an 800 gallon sprayer for one reason. This is the only one that was in stock ready to buy. That was one reason. We could have waited and got a thousand, but I think the 800 is going to do better. We got a lot, a lot, a lot of hills, like not a lot of flat ground. So I'm thinking the the flat ground uh, would be a lot better for a big tank, big sprayer. But you know, filling the sprayer doesn't take very long. I don't have any problems doing it. Um, still make great time with it. Uh, I mean, I just sprayed the other day. I sprayed. Uh, just hair over 250 acres. I started at lunchtime and I finished about 7.30 and I'd spray 250 acres and then none of it was big smooth ground. So I'd say that sprayer, like they say on the Apache website that with this boom system, they reduce ground strikes by 100% and it's a fact. I, I may have, end of the boom may have touched the ground once and I have not touched the button to raise the boom up or down it it did it on its own and then it's xrt viper xrt system hands down hands down the best sprayer i've ever run and here is a 97 f350 7.3 diesel the infamous power stroke 7.3 yeah she's a good truck she's a good truck uh keep our roundup and different chemicals on here I take this to spray and take the big tanker. If you hadn't noticed, here's my Revere seed sticker. If you hadn't noticed, uh, there's a lot of Fords around here. We are die hard Ford people. Uh, so Fords, 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 beat up 7.3s, 78 Fords, 71 Fords that need a little work that are in the bushes. But it's, it's a work in progress. That's, you know, projects. But anyway, thanks for your time. Like I said, if you have any questions, hit them up in the comments. I'll be glad to try to answer them. Uh, we need to get more. My son, I got three sons actually. They're all pretty uh, into farming. Uh, one's 16, one that's 14, and one is 12. I also have a daughter that's eight, but uh, I'm gonna get her into farming too. We need to get the youth into interested in farming whether it's grain farming, whether it's cattle farming, whether it's whether it's dairy, we need the youth interested in this stuff to keep it going. That's how we feed America. Uh, a lot of people think you go to the grocery store and just get your food. It don't work like that. Uh, so if we could get that, get this word spread and try to help, you know, got any questions, like I said, I'll be glad to answer them. Help learn, help teach people, you know, what really goes on on the farm, not what people think goes on. 
Uh, they all think we're out here spraying chemicals everywhere trying to kill everybody. And that's just certainly not the case. So here's our pulling truck trailer. Truck's actually in there. The engine's not in it. You know, otherwise we'd be pulling this season. I'd have a lot more videos for you, but I uh, had a small problem with that. And I wouldn't say small, but we had an issue and that's getting taken care of. So, but anyway, like I said, hit me up in the comments, like, share the video. If you want to see anything in particular, if you think I might, I have a lot of videos that I've just taken while we are farming. You know, maybe I can, if you want to know anything, hit me up and I might be able to have something you can see. And uh, like I said, have a great day and be blessed. And uh, just thank you all for watching. And uh, I appreciate it. And it's dry here in Virginia. Can y'all please send us some rain? Thank you and have a good day. Be blessed. Appreciate it. See you guys.